Guys, Mark Bailey from JS Oceana Training. Uh, we're going to do a little demonstration today on our computerised alternator tester. AD100 is our part number for it. I'm um, going to show a couple of features of computer controlled alternators. The first one is uh, most of these alternators that are computer controlled, and I haven't seen one yet that doesn't do it, will self excite with enough revs on the car as a basic test with no plug on the back of it. So I've got the tester at the moment unplugged, nothing on the control plug of the alternator. If I start the test bench, run it in a normal direction, the alternator will be charged, and self excite, and sit on about 14 volts, and the amperage will depend on the, on the battery condition. All right, so that's just as a real basic test. If we just start the car up, unplug the alternator, the alternator will self excite and run with a standard sort of voltage that you'd expect from an everyday um, older style alternator. Where this tester comes in useful, We've got quite a few different types of control available to test on it. There's COM, which is mostly European, RLO, which is Denso, Signal, Ford, PD is Mazda, LNRBC is GM, C is Sun Denso and Mitsubishi, DFM is to test the alternator output feedback to the vehicle ECU, LIN24 is a 24-volt type of control, and we're back to COM. I know this Valio alternator that I'm testing here is some form of COM, so I'll select that. I'll plug it in. Straight away, the tester takes control of the alternator and says it's LIN type control. It actually tells you that it's the Valio alternator, Class 06, ID 049, and LIN 1.3. You'll notice now that the, the um, tester is requesting 4.3 volts. Sorry, 4.5, the alternator is at 4.3, battery is 4.3. I'm going to lift that up. You see straight away that it takes control of the alternator. It's now lifting it up to 16 volts on the alternator and the battery voltage is fine. So I drop that back down again. Again, the alternator output follows the request from the LIN test or the AD100 tester. Right, and I can control that up or down. So it's going to confirm that it's actually going to be controlled by the vehicle. So we know that alternator is working correctly. Alright, if I turn it off, and unplug it, the alternator will revert back to standard voltage control at about 14 volts. Um, if you cannot find what type of control is on a particular alternator, if you look up the part number and look in our catalogue, our catalogue will give you the pinout and the type of control for that alternator. Another little interesting fact on these alternators, because it's got a clutch pulley on the front of it, if we test it in the wrong direction, and I'll reverse it now to counterclockwise, you'll see the alternator will initially cut in, and then the pulley slips, and it stops charging. And you'll see it'll cut in and out as the alternator speed builds up with no load on it, all right? And then the pulley slips and it drops back out again, okay? So I've seen people quite often get caught out by testing the alternator in the wrong direction on these. You've got to be a little bit careful of that one. We'll go back to the normal way around again, which is clockwise on a standard rotation. And away we go. self excites and runs at 14 volts with no control. But the AD100 tester will let you test all of the computer controlled alternators that we currently have available. Alright, thanks for watching.